Welcome to the Thought Emporium. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my vacuum chambers, uh, specifically the glass portion. Uh, I've become a little notorious for making these out of uh, jars and stuff, so I'm going to show you the process of turning a jar into a fully functional vacuum chamber for whatever your project is. Depending on your application, you can use different jars. Thicker is usually better and safer. I'm going to be using a small jar here, and I'm using a uh, three-quarter barb adapter as my vacuum line just because I don't need super high vacuum so just a roughing pump will be fine. So to start off you're going to need a coarse grinding stone. Uh, the really fine ones take forever so I'm using just a really really coarse diamond uh, stone. You're going to need a pipette, a little bit of just regular water, and make sure to keep the stone wet uh, throughout the whole process, you're going to want to continue to renew the water. Now, what we're trying to do here is just make sure that the lip of the glass is flat so that it will make a nice seal for the vacuum system. So all you have to do is just start grinding the glass, try and keep it as flat as you can, and constantly or every now and again give it a quarter turn. This will make sure that the glass is actually flat and you're not wearing down one area more than another so I like to keep it turning constantly as I work. As a first test you can use a really flat object to check for any gaps. Any gaps are going to mean a leak in your vacu vacuum system so you're going to need to make sure that everything is perfectly flat. As a final test with the gasket on the table and the jar on top push the gasket any areas where the gasket can easily be pushed in. There's a gap there and you're not done, you gotta keep working. Using just a little bit of paper towel and some water, just clean off the edge and inspect it visually. Make sure everything looks about the same. Be careful though, the edge is going to be very, very sharp. You can cut yourself on it. This is good for a vacuum system, not so good for, you know, the human body. Now to get on to drilling. So you do this for anything that you want to bridge from the outside to the inside of the chamber. So either a gas line or an electrode or, you know, whatever it is. So the way I do this is I take a little bit of plasticine and roll it out and then bend it into sort of a donut and form a well on top of the glass. I then fill that with a little bit of sort of room temperature water and it'll keep the drill bit and the glass cool as you drill. It'll let you drill through significantly faster, and it'll also prevent the glass from getting too hot and cracking. If you don't do it with water, uh, I, I used to do that, uh, it gets really hot, it's loud, it takes forever, and you just eat through bits with it. This way it is quick, clean, and easy. So I'm just doing the electrode here. So I'm going to speed up the footage so you can watch, and I'll cut back periodically. And when all is said and done, you've got a nice clean cut right through. So now with the main electrode hole drilled through, I'm going to do the gas line. So this is a two-part cut since I need the hole that goes all the way through, and then I need to widen it so that I can fit the hose barb in. And here are the finished cuts. And as you can see, the hose fitting fits perfectly. Now all that's left to do is to epoxy everything up. So I'm just using a quick set uh, JB Weld. Honestly, JB Weld is like the duct tape of the vacuum world. This stuff works amazingly to seal pretty much any leak you have, and it can take a fair amount of abuse.
So this is the final chamber. I've already got the vacuum line hooked up. I've got all the high voltage. There's a test implant uh, suspended in there. That's what the little uh, silver thing is. Uh, this is, I'm using this particular chamber for a sputtering system, but I use these for all kinds of different things. So I'm gonna leave some footage of some of the tests going while I sort of speak, but this is sort of all I'm going into in this video. I'm going to cover high voltage and vacuum systems in another video. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please be sure to leave a rating, uh, subscribe, leave a comment for some, if you've got a crazy idea for a vacuum system, if you've seen something interesting that maybe I haven't tried out. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on stuff like this. Uh, the this, this system that you see I'm using to plate titanium nitride to things, hopefully this will be fully functional and I'll actually be able to uh, do coding for kind of anybody who needs it, but uh, that's sort of all to come and is still in the works. I've got a lot of very exciting things coming up, so if you want to be notified of all of that, be sure to check out the Facebook page if you're interested in some of my research or some of our merch. Uh, my site is the place for that. We've got hats that cut your study time by 30%, nanoparticles, all kinds of crazy stuff. Be sure to check it out, and I'll see you next time.